So I'm going to install VMware Workstation in uh, Linux machine, which is Ubuntu Linux, uh, the latest version of the Ubuntu. Uh, you can see it in background, the Jelly Jam version. <coughs> for this, uh, I had already downloaded VMware Workstation file from the uh, www.vmware.com website. You can download uh, it uh, from this website. For this, uh, now first of all, right click on this section and see the properties. Uh, see for uh, it's uh, read and write, read and write, and what it's all this. So to make it executable file, you need to click on the right uh, this uh, tick on the this uh, button. And if there is on tick uh, on this uh, section executable uh, file, allow executing file as a program. You need to select this and uh, close it. So I'm going to open terminal in this section desktop so right click on the terminal and make it I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent so it will be helpful for me to see what's in the background of the terminal window so it will help me to copy uh, copy the uh, commands so for now, uh, I'm going to type sudo dot slash uh, vm vm and press tab. Uh, after uh, uh, typing one or two word from this um, uh, file name, and after pressing tab, it will give me the all uh, the uh, name of the uh, complete name of the uh, software mm. so i'm going to press uh, enter i'm going to keep a password now uh, the installation is started uh, it is started it is started <clears throat> So installation is completed. By this way, we can install a VMware workstation in the since so let's see VMware workstation is installed in my machine. Uh, if you are uh, using uh, in a Linux machine, it, uh, Linux machine, uh, it it has some problem, some kind of problem, which I am going to give you the solution of this problem also. So compiling and installing following kernel modules it is going to have a problem as I know. Okay, let's cancel it. having some problem regarding the VMware workstation 
after launching this VMware workstation it is being VMware kernel module updater before you can run VMware several modules must be compiled and loaded into the running kernel uh, if I try to install the it will not work compiling unable to unable to install all the modules C log team of VMware if I'm going to see the log file what does it say I'm going to see the Location C telling me uh, 10 184. 10 184. Uh, I'm going to see the last log of this file. It's saying me using configuration file slash etc slash, etc slash vmware slash config uh, user slash labs at vmware to solve this problem i'm going to do close it cancel it uh, so Solve the problem. You need to install the Git uh, first of all. You need to install Git. Uh, you can install Git by uh, typing sudo install Git, and after getting a Git, you uh, can type uh, like, uh, Git clone. Okay, Git clone. Has it yes colon colon doubles as dot com and slash and k u p e c ek slash vmware dash host dash and it you add this modules dot git and uh, i have already installed it uh, so it is showing me it's already installed and uh, you need to get to the C, uh, CD. You need to get inside the VMware host module. So you, you type CD VMware um, dash host uh, dash and and you add these modules and hit enter. Now you are inside the VMware host module. <coughs> Now type git uh, ch -ch -ch check out and walk the, the station and the uh, version of your workstation VMware workstation. In my case, I'm using 2.4. I also hit enter it already, so I have already done it. <coughs> now uh, type uh, make and hit enter and then as type sudo uh, make <coughs> sudo make uh, install as the dps double slash sudo make install sudo mm -hmm. make install and now make install sorry this is not okay 
you just type sudo make install and hit enter uh, after this uh, as you just type sudo uh, slash etc slash uh, init dot uh, d slash vmware and start and hit enter so after this uh, you will successfully able to run the VMware workstation file <coughs> and now it is VMware workstation file 